And it's, uh, we are mainly working in uh, local commons and technologic, uh, technosocial domains in Barcelona. Um, it can be described as a communicative ecology as, uh, with a social layer, a discursive layer, and a technological layer. Um, it aims to connect distributed knowledge generated by communities of practice, and that's the social layer, um, to connect this knowledge uh, with the relationships among participants at events and with the subjects or discussions, creating a discursive layer. The purpose is to produce collective narratives, follow what happens, and weave relationships by sharing knowledge. That's a discursive layer. And the technological layer in Tashidora is um, based on several applications and these, um, devices. Tashidora uses Etherpad, which is a web-based collaborative real-time editor. It uses a semantic media wiki, which is an extension of the popular open source media wiki application developed by Wikipedia Foundation. And it uses social networks, Twitter and Twitter. And um, we'll show you how it works. Um, when an event that's relevant to Tashidora is planned, um, it's identified, it is uploaded to Tashidora, by, uh, Tashidora's calendar by filling in a form. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, slowly charging this form. Uh, has the name of the event, the date of the event, the place, the type of the event, the participants, um, the language in which uh, the event will, will be done, the event description, the description that is given by the organizers of the event or the description that we um, have for that event, the program, etc. And then, when, when you save this information that you have initially filled in, uh, a page is automatically created on the wiki. And now we show um, a, a page, as it would come up, like, like this one. The event appears on the calendar of Tashidora and in the section Sagim Fields. which Sagim Fields means following the thread in Catalan, which is the Tashidora calendar of events. And in the Sagim Fields is uh, organized by what is, happen, what is happening now and what happen, has happened and what will happen. And we are creating a vote, a, a vote which semi-automates with information extracted from public agendas, the creation of events in Tashidora. So now we are doing this manually. When an event is identified, we fill it in, and then it uh, comes up uh, on, the, on the calendar. But soon, a bot will do that um, automatically, going through agendas of what's planned in, in, in the city. And then when the event is already happening in the city or somewhere, um, we go there, or whoever is there, opens a pad. And this is an example of a pad. Uh, we take where we take notes, collaborative, in a Procommons uh, conference in Barcelona. And the, the notes can be taken chronologically. So as the, um, the conversation or the event is happening, you take notes, now this person says this, this other person says that, no, no. Or we can structure by content um, and identify the people that is being mentioned uh, in, in the conversation, the projects that are being mentioned, the organizations, the books or publications or keywords. And, or we can structure the, the notes by desired outcomes or results. For example, we want to know what are the weaknesses, what are the opportunities, or what are the, um, the risks or the proposals that are mentioned in the conversation, and this is what it says here. Um, we, we collect the information by classifying it like that. And then after the event, 
uh, documentation is uploaded to Teshidora. Nodes are migrated, and um, we have this bot that's being built to automatically classify the information that we before have taken um, a structured. Um, and then also we can upload presentations, images, video, or audio, mm -hmm. as you see here. And then here you see the, um, the, the keywords, for example, in here, that uh, initially have been um, taken on the path and then automatically or manually up till now go to, onto Teshidora. So when the results are collected in this simple SWOT, the, these um, weaknesses, opportunities, and proposals, or in the keyword, etc., et are converted into values of uh, semantic property, and then they can be merged with the results collected in other events and be visualized in tables using semantic queries. We will show you. Yes. Uh, you can see that the, the semantic values uh, are links uh, in blue when the page exists in the, in the wiki semantic platforms, platform, like in, Wikip in Wikipedia, and, we, uh, and in red when the, the page doesn't, doesn't, exist. doesn't exist. You can see that when you uh, click on a link, uh, you can go to a page that automatically uh, shows uh, the semantic information about, in this case, uh, a person, but uh, you can see about a project also. And then, the same process that we've showed you that we did in, in Berkeley's, in, um, in, in, in Berkeley's um, conf conference, we did exactly the same process in all the different conferences that um, occurred in Barcelona in the event of um, ProCommons in, I think it was in June. And then we created um, a page. As David is showing you here, with all the sub events that um, happened during that day. So every, um, every conference that uh, occurred in, in that um, day is um, kept in here. So we've been doing that with 125 different events that have nodes. And there are 140 different events that uh, have documentation on Teshidora. Now that we have this um, amount of information, we can start to play with it and cross it and see what, what is the result. So we can um, create pages about a specific subject, like this one on the Internet of Things. So we have a page that shows what are the events about Internet of Things that have been happening in Barcelona in the last few weeks or few months. And we have notes of almost each one of them. We know uh, what organizations were uh, involved in creating those events. We know what people, what individuals have been involved in creating or in those events. And we know um, what publications uh, have been mentioned in, in those events. This is one of the things that we can do. We can also map actors from an event or a group of related events. For example, the example that we have to show you here is during the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, there's a Mobile World Congress and there are all these alternative uh, events happening around. So we went to a few of them and other people went to a few others. And afterwards we met and we did a session in which we uh, filled in the information that we had been collecting on, on Teshidora. So now we have all this amount of uh, classified information related to the Mobile Congress, the alternative events that happened around the Mobile Congress. And we have all the, the actors mapped. 
We can also use semantic queries to explore and visualize content. Better? I like this one, tracking events. We have a calendar, uh, a timeline, and you can see the, um, the first bit is by day, by weeks. The second bit is by month, and the third bit is by years. We went to all of those, or someone else went and uploaded them to Tashidara. And then we can see uh, the upcoming events in Barcelona. Where will they be occurring? occurring? A cartography of actors, people that, actors, people first, and that has passed the book. People, way up, and, uh, and um, if, uh, organizations. No, people is. Um, okay. Organizations, organizations by alphabetical order. Um, then the organizations headquarters. We can see we see that um, in San Francisco, for example, um, organizations that are being mentioned in events in Barcelona are all in the same street in San Francisco, and they probably have breakfast together. Um, and projects. We can identify conversation topics um, by uh, most frequent keywords. Or for example, we can say, in this Pro Commons conference in 2017, um, what were the keywords that uh, were more um, used? So we know what are the most frequent words in that also have the other keyword um, as pro commons and, and we, we can explore also uh, if we um, relationships like uh, in the events where uh, commons is a key keyword uh, what's the, the other keywords uh, in the in the same events or in the in the events where uh, technological sovereignty is a keyword. What, what's the, the other keywords used in these events? So that's that's it. This is what the Shidara is. Um, the purpose, as you see, is to produce collective narratives. So, yeah, this visualization of what is being said and who is saying it and who is participating in the conversation by information that we collect. Um, Collectively, we collect together um, in different events, and that's it. So, uh, we have some challenges ahead. This is in Catalan only, so we want to have it in. in we have. We want to for it to be multilingual. There is a page written in Spanish that explains what are the problems that we are identifying, and also how could we make this interoperable with other uh, platforms. We are exploring with other semantic media wikis and also with other platforms that collect semantic um, information. That's it. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions or comments? Um, a comment I could give, we really wanted to, out oh, there, we really wanted to uh, try to apply your tool here today, but since yeah. it was only in Catalan, it was uh, not really possible. There's a question at the back. I wonder, um, what have you been learning by, co I mean, you have now a huge pile of data. How are you making sense of it? Or what have you been learning in the process of doing this? Yeah. Well, we've learned um, a lot of things. We only showed you a few um, of the, a few examples of what we can do with it. Um, we've observed how people take notes. For example, there's there's a whole um, lit literature. Um, I don't know how you say that, but um, there's um, a lot of literature written about how people take notes for learning and for uh, sharing knowledge. 
Um, we've learned about um, tools that can be used for um, doing this process. We've learned about, um, we haven't uh, still thought deeply uh, about that, but we want to do it soon, about power, power play in, in, in making the narrative. Who is the one that takes um, the leading role when uh, taking notes in, not only, we've, we've been talking now about um, conferences, but we also use the, these in meetings and the minutes of the meetings are normally taken by one person and what is written is what um, is used later and normally it's a man. <laughs> well, no, normally it's a woman who takes note, but it's a man, the one that decides what's the end product. And um, what else have we learned? We've learned a lot about um, crossing information, but uh, what, what, uh, what information, what, what knowledge do you get when you cross data that comes from different places? And also, we, we, we didn't, we weren't thinking about doing a cartography. We weren't thinking about mapping what is happening in Barcelona when we started. We just, we were only thinking about creating choral narratives, um, not well, what I was saying before, just creating um, a narrative that doesn't come from only one person. And then when we started doing, we, we saw that we were collecting information about who is doing what in, in town. And then we also saw that there was a need for that. Give me some press. Uh, we we um, well, we've done exercises like that, but normally it's after an event has happened and with the people that have participated in the event. For example, in we didn't show it, but in Pro Commons um, this last year, uh, in this uh, short swap that we did. Uh, we um, identify the, um, the risks, opportunities, and proposals, but we did it um, in the face-to-face -face meetings. Everyone went to meetings with post-its and worked on, on that, on those questions, and brought them down. And then later, we, we looked at uh, what we had collected and we digitized it. And then a document was produced from that. And also, do we have more time? Related to what I was explaining earlier about the CIDIM and the PAM, the, the municipal plan, um, the year earlier in the pro commons happened at the same time that the, the plan was being done on the CIDIM. So the proposals that were collected during pro commons um, by post-its were later introduced to the CIDIM. And in the middle, they went through Tashidora. So it was a physical, um, a physical exercise, then it, went digit, it was digitized on Tashidora, and then the result went onto the PAM, yeah? onto the program for the municipality. Yeah. I think there's a very interesting article which is going to be published soon in the peer to peer. Uh, What's it called? Called again? The peer-to-peer -peer journal. Journal. Um, the journal of peer production, um, which gives a very interesting overview of, of, of the the complete project. We've yeah. learned a lot by writing this article. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Or one more question. Um, you talked about semantics uh, a lot. Do, do you think that uh, it's it's a way the project is a way to protect the your your language, the Catalan language? Is it something that you have you had in mind? No, no, see, no, no specially. <laughs> but uh, now uh, we Pro are. I, I mean, protecting from a. Uh, um, 
a large um, st a stream uh, that loses um, uh, vocabulary, that uh, loses um, a lot of, uh, of words. Um, um, we, in that we, way, I mean. We want to, to do this project multilingual. And what to, one of the challenges is how to connect the values of the semantic properties uh, between languages. Uh, mm, is, um, could be a place to collect uh, how the people uh, say the things, <laughs> uh, the, the concepts that, that the, or the words that the people say to speak about commons, economy, politics, etc. Uh, there is now a, a project that is just starting that want to um, organize the, this, in, in this area the, the words in Catalan, uh, comparing in, with English, German, French, etc., uh, Spanish, and they are uh, uh, taking an account in account uh, Teixidora uh, as a source to to collect information. <clears throat> Thank you very much.